Today we have uh, here a Kenwood TS2000 uh, on uh, the bench and uh, the radio came uh, in with um, yeah, called uh, a nearly uh, dead receiver so um, means uh, that uh, the sensitivity is uh, very bad and um, yeah, first we're gonna check um, what uh, we can find uh, on uh, the radio uh, tester and uh, see what we measure on uh, receive. Okay, I put uh, the radio on the 20 meter band and um, have already uh, connected it uh, to uh, the communication tester and um, yeah our uh, specification uh, is telling us that um, on uh, SSB um, <clears throat> from 1.7 uh, up to 24 uh, megahertz we should um, reach um, 10 dB signal to noise um, with uh, 0 0.2 microvolt. Um, let's convert it. Um, 0 0.2 microvolt mi means um, with uh, minus 121 dBm we should be able um, to reach already uh, 10 dB signal to noise. Okay, um, so there is um, no information um, in uh, the documentation here um, uh, whether these uh, figures are taken with uh, preamp uh, on or off. So uh, I have uh, the preamp uh, switched uh, on um, because um, a nice guy um, uh, on uh, some of the forums uh, did uh, the same uh, test and uh, for instance on uh, 14 um, megahertz he um, measured uh, minus uh, 120.4 uh, dBm as um, sensitivity um, with um, preamp on, so um, that is uh, very important. So preamp uh, should be on uh, to to uh, to to reach um, the uh, the specs, and uh, it is uh, measured 10 dB. Uh, sign it on uh, SSB so that uh, is uh, what he has uh, done so that means um, with uh, um, minus uh, 120.4 uh, uh, we should uh, reach um, 10 dB um, sign it 10 dB sign it Okay, so that is what I've done, and I switch it, uh, it is switched uh, on dummy, I switch it on speaker, and <clears throat> yeah, what you can hear, so there is uh, nothing um, on the S meter, and you can hear that uh, the signal uh, is very noisy already, so I switch it back on the dummy. Um, but what you can uh, see here, uh, I'm on a level of minus 87.8 and uh, with uh, minus uh, uh, 87.8 in, in average, I mean it is jumping, but uh, in average I'm reaching um, 10 dB uh, sign it, so that is uh, what it is switched on. And what you can see here, um, the signal, so the one um, kilohertz um, 
audio frequency is uh, very very noisy so that is uh, what you can hear when we switch on the speaker so what does it mean um, that does mean uh, that uh, we really need much more power to uh, be able uh, to uh, reach our 10 dB and um, let's uh, calculate it so uh, we just inject uh, 87.8 um, exponent uh, sorry, not exponent. Stupid, I am. 87.8 minus um, minus 120. What is um, they are telling us? 0 0.2 microvolt which is minus 121 so that is uh, the spe specification so that means we have a difference uh, of uh, 33.2 dB so we need to, to inject uh, 33.2 uh, more uh, level to reach uh, the 10 dB um, signal to noise so that uh, means uh, voltage wise so 33.2 uh, dB um, what does it mean uh, the, the, the ratio uh, on, 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 on voltage uh, so that means 33.2 divided uh, by 20 um, means 1.66 and uh, that uh, 10 exponent uh, 166 what is it so there is it so that means um, our huh, that is uh, quite a lot so um, that means we need to um, to inject uh, 45 times more voltage um, to reach our uh, 10 dB so um, our 10 dB signal to noise so that needs that really means we need to inject 45 times more voltage to reach uh, the requested uh, signal to noise uh, ratio. Yeah, so that uh, means um, uh, finally uh, our um, sensitivity is uh, really, really uh, bad, and um, so that uh, what um, the old man is reporting here that uh, um, uh, you know he uh, can't hear anything on this uh, receiver is true so um, yeah so we have really uh, a fold and um, we need uh, to fix it okay so just uh, go back and uh, switch pe speaker back and now listen if if I switch um, the preamp off so now preamp is off and I only reach now five in average five uh, average maybe four four point five maybe a uh, signal to noise without preamp so that is uh, even worse and uh, preamp on it's a bit better but uh, we need already 45 uh, um, times we, we already inject a, a volt level uh, of 45 times higher than 
then um, mentioned uh, in the Kenwood uh, specification and uh, um, it is uh, uh, the same what uh, this nice guy um, has uh, measured uh, on uh, 10 dB um, SSB signet you know um, so we we do not fulfill this uh, figures and that means uh, yeah this um, receiver is uh, really really bad I've already opened uh, up the radio and uh, what we can uh, see here is a, a TXRX1 unit so called um, by uh, Kenwood and um, well what we have uh, here are um, ceramic uh, filters and uh, here as well and um, these filters are known uh, for uh, making trouble um, after a period of time and um, what we have to check if uh, one of the filter might be um, faulty so that is um, relatively uh, easy to check um, we just take the board out and um, we check if uh, the filter um, have some uh, leakage uh, to ground which uh, is an indication um, for um, yeah that uh, if, if there is a leakage to ground uh, that is a, a clear sign um, that uh, the filter is uh, faulty and needs to be uh, changed so that is the easiest way um, to check uh, these filters so next will be uh, taking uh, the board out and um, check the filters. Yeah, I've taken uh, out the board and uh, oops, yeah, somebody already uh, did change uh, the filter. So all of the filters. Um, so you can uh, find a lot of flux here on the board and um, do you see this? Well, so this is a little uh, capacitor uh, which has been um, put uh, into the uh, signal pass um, so this is a kind of modification to prevent any DC uh, voltage from uh, the ceramic uh, filter because um, that is a requirement uh, from uh, the um, filter manufacturers they are telling that you should not put any DC voltage uh, to the filter and um, originally uh, Kenwood um, didn't follow this uh, advice and there is always a bit voltage, uh, DC voltage um, on uh, the filter and uh, therefore there is a recommendation um, to put uh, a capacitor to block the DC voltage um, from the filter and uh, this modification has been done but um, well, uh, so I do not really know. Um, does it uh, does, does um, the problem we uh, found so the bad sensitivity? Uh, does it have something to do um, with the repair and uh, the modification here on the board, or um, did we have uh, all? ready right at uh, the beginning a completely different fault so that uh, is uh, now a question and uh, I have uh, first uh, to call uh, the old man um, to tell me um, what uh, has happened before and uh, who did uh, this modification so hmm I don't know so hopefully um, that uh, we do not have a, a damage um, 
due to um, to this uh, um, modification or um, uh, in general to to changing uh, the filters so that looks a bit uh, suspect to me so that is uh, what we have to find out first before we can go um, any further so I've taken um, the uh, capacitor uh, out uh, first um, just uh, for uh, testing because we uh, need to know um, whether uh, there is something wrong with uh, the modification and uh, I will uh, first uh, clean uh, the board that uh, we get uh, all um, the flux away as uh, well uh, from uh, the other uh, filters which uh, has been um, changed already and um, so there has been done some uh, solar work uh, to um, uh, to little transformers which we have uh, on the board and um, I gonna clean uh, all um, the solar work uh, first and uh, check all um, the solder points um, and uh, maybe uh, I have to reflow some of the solar uh, points of, as well um, that uh, I will check after um, I, I have uh, cleaned um, the board with uh, some uh, flux cleaner and um, yeah then then we will go ahead well I have uh, started to uh, clean uh, the board uh, with uh, flux cleaner but <laughs> I, I, I haven't uh, really realized uh, it before, but uh, I, I don't know whether, whether you can uh, see it uh, through uh, the camera, but um, so we have all over um, flux uh, on, on, on the board, so it looks like uh, that uh, somebody has nearly uh, completely reflowed um, uh, the board. Um, so hmm so this this is uh, really a bad um start uh, position because we do not know um whether maybe some somebody put too uh, much um heat uh, to the board and uh, therefore to some of the really sensi sensitivity um uh, components um, so uh, some of those uh, components uh, can really uh, be destroyed by uh, too much uh, heat so hmm that is uh, really no good uh, start position and um, yeah I, I um, have to clean the complete board I have uh, already uh, started um, uh, where uh, the filter has been um, uh, changed uh, so there the board uh, is now uh, clean um, yeah but <laughs> I have really to clean nearly the whole board so yeah um, okay let's see yeah, board is uh, nearly clean. So um, I, yeah, there are some points uh, which uh, needs to be um, cleaned again. But anyway, uh, first of all, I have installed um, a bridge down here. So uh, I've taken out um, the capacitor. Um, so that is now um, the original um, configuration. Um, I, I just put the bridge in to um, do uh, another uh, measurement uh, to see if um, something was wrong with uh, the uh, 
with a connection um, which um, were done with a capacitor in between. So if now we have uh, again the same fault, um, so bad sensitivity, we have definitely an additional fault uh, here on the board or somewhere else um, in the radio. And uh, the issue really is, uh, I, I do not know from uh, the two days uh, point of view, um, was uh, it maybe the uh, original fault that um, the bad sensitivity uh, came from uh, something uh, different than uh, the um, the filters or um, has it something to do with uh, the re filter replacement so that something has been overheated or um, uh, is it something um, with uh, ESD that uh, um, a part has been uh, overloaded uh, f for instance because uh, the guy uh, who did this um, this work uh, didn't uh, use uh, ESD protection during the repair so I don't know um, and uh, well let us first check this so uh, maybe it helps and if not yeah then we really need uh, uh, yeah you know the history of uh, this repair to judge um, what uh, have been happening uh, to the radio okay the bridge uh, didn't change uh, anything uh, so board uh, is uh, back um, with uh, the bridge um, beneath or um, yeah it is um, under this uh, filter here um, so the bridge is uh, in and uh, the capacitor is out and uh, we have no change uh, to uh, sensitivity so we should reach so now minus 88 and we should reach with uh, minus 120 um, so 122 let me double check with 121 so let us go to minus 121 yeah, so this is the level where we should uh, already reach uh, 10 dB and we reach uh, uh, 1 dB and to be honest let me check we switch it to the speaker <laughs> so I do not hear any signal nothing so even when I increase it is only noise so there is no signal at all so I get signal or tone when I go and increase the level again <coughs> ah, here we can hear a bit in the background and now it's coming up now it's coming up slowly coming up let's go back to 10 so come on it's jumping a bit so yeah you see this still missing uh, 30, uh, still uh, 33 dB <laughs> which are missing okay so get back on dummy so yeah <laughs> I need 
I need the history uh, of the previous uh, repair, so of uh, the uh, filter uh, changing, which has been done already, because uh, yeah, I was uh, a bit uh, confused when I saw uh, the filters in here, and uh, normally uh, that that are uh, Toko. Uh, filters and uh, so the filters here inside are uh, no uh, original uh, Toko uh, filters so uh, I recognized it but uh, I really couldn't believe but these are uh, already um, the um, new filters so that is a different uh, manufacturers and that is uh, what I uh, normally do as well because I do not like to put uh, the, the Toko uh, filters uh, uh, back as um, replacement because you know uh, the Toko filters are uh, bad that is what we know even uh, we have uh, this uh, issue um, with the DC voltage uh, to um, yeah the uh, CF4 um, filter where uh, some modification has been done um, but uh, anyway uh, these filters uh, are um, always uh, dead as well so you know I wouldn't uh, do Toko filters back I would uh, take also different uh, manufacturer so that is uh, from that perspective completely right but yeah so I I really need uh, the history and then uh, we can go ahead okay so let's go um, ahead uh, also I uh, didn't uh, get already uh, any information from uh, the uh, old man, but anyway, um, I just want to check uh, if it is possible to uh, find um, where our signal um, got uh, lost. So, therefore, um, I uh, take uh, this level uh, diagram um, which is um, supplied uh, with the technical. Um, datas and uh, service manual and um, what you can uh, see here um, we have here our connector CN1 and uh, when we uh, inject minus um, 112.5 uh, dBm we should uh, get uh, at the end of the chain our 10 dB um, signal or signal to noise uh, ratio. So I have uh, just um, pulled out uh, the connector. So this is now um, where we are gonna inject our minus 112.5 dBm and uh, we should get, uh, as we said, um, 10 dB signal to noise. Okay, so I have already uh, adjusted minus 112 and now I take my little injector I put ground to there, so that is our ground lead and uh, yeah, here we have uh, a little bridge and um, so I can inject uh, our signal down there and when I inject it ah, let us first um, switch on our speaker so we have noise and okay so I'm injecting and maybe you hear a little bit in the background, but it's very, very 
low the signal can't really hear it you can guess that there is something not more okay so if you do not have um, a signal uh, down there we want to check it behind our um, uh, first in front of our um, bandpass uh, filter pack okay injecting um, our signal um, directly into uh, the CN1 uh, doesn't help so what uh, we gonna do now is um, injecting uh, our signal directly um, to the input of uh, the bandpass uh, filter so uh, here on, on the board um, maybe you can see it better like this here on the board uh, these are the uh, complete uh, bandpass filters for uh, the different bands and uh, this uh, filter here is for uh, the 20 meter band and uh, yeah as, as we know let me do it that way we are at uh, 14200 which is within the 20 meter band so that means this uh, bandpass filter is um, uh, activated and uh, here uh, at uh, the beginning of um, at, at, that is the input uh, of the band pass filter and uh, here uh, we have uh, our output but anyway let's uh, first uh, inject um, the signal uh, into um, the input of uh, the 20 meter band uh, filter pack okay so therefore our, 100, our minus 112 uh, is already available and I switch back to speaker and now okay ground is uh, connected and now I go down to this little diode which is the input of our filter Aha! Uh -huh. Here we have a tone, and if you watch our signal to noise, it is 12.5, maybe in average 11 dB signal to noise with 112 so if we go back to uh, this point here yeah, you hear it is just a bit to hear in the background but it is so weak nothing at all and uh, our signal to noise meter doesn't report anything but injecting it uh, to the input of the filter bank yeah listen to that and that is 12 dB 12 dB that is great so okay so let me switch the speaker off so what does that mean? Um, okay, so we are um, at this point it doesn't work and directly um, at the input of the bandpass filter we have the right uh, signal at the output what we are expecting. So looking uh, into uh, the schematic uh, we see um, so where is it this little sucker here yeah. 
So that is our D24, uh, which uh, is um, the diode at the input to feed the filter. And here is the output. And I have injected my uh, signal right here uh, into uh, the filter. And injecting the signal down here um, brings the right um, uh, the right uh, signal uh, level at the output or uh, the, the right uh, signal to noise ratio. So that means uh, let's uh, check our let's check our block diagram. Um, let's uh, see it here. So this are this is a filter bank. Mm, let's uh, do it this way. And uh, yeah, we have all the different filters and um, uh, one of those is um, can we see it or is it already too close? 13 uh, 13 megahertz up to 14, 5, I guess it is really a bad uh, copy. But anyway, I injected um, the signal here uh, into the uh, filter board, and we have the right um, signal to noise ratio at the end. So that means our, our fold must be somewhere uh, from the um, antenna jack um, so antenna 1 uh, so there is uh, the switch and then it is uh, RX is going to here and then there is an attenuator and then uh, we are at uh, the filter bank so somewhere here in between uh, we have our problem and um, yeah once again uh, from uh, CN1, which uh, is uh, this one here. So this is a CN1, right? Um, when we inject it here, it doesn't work, and when we inject it direct here, it works. So now we have to check uh, everything which is. Uh, in between and um, yeah let me uh, check um, let me check the uh, schematic, schematic and uh, then I will uh, show you the next step